About 3,000 North Korean troops have been sent to Russia and they are now receiving training on drones and other equipment before being deployed to battlefields in Ukraine, South Korea's spy chief told lawmakers Monday. In a closed-door parliamentary committee briefing, National Intelligence Service Director Cho Tae-yong said another 1,500 North Korean troops have joined the 1,500 his agency estimated were in the country last week, according to lawmaker Park Sun-won, who attended the briefing. Park said that the NIS had confirmed North Korea sent 1,500 special operation forces to Russia this month. Cho told lawmakers that his agency assessed that North Korea aims to deploy a total of 10,000 troops to Russia by December, Park told reporters. Lawmaker Lee Song Quian also said the agency found that Russia is hiring Korean translators and educating North Koreans on special warfare. ロシアは北韓サイエケカンヤクイルマンヨミョンエパビョンウン12月の予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予想を予
равноправия и взаимного уважения. Развивается политдиалог, активно контактируют наши внешнеполитические ведомства, Советы безопасности, налажено взаимодействие по межпарламентской линии, торгово-экономические связи между Россией и ЮАР в целом находятся на хорошем уровне. После некоторого спада товарооборот опять начал расти. В январе-августе этого года он рост составил 3%. Здесь, конечно, есть над чем совместно нужно работать в плане наращивания и диверсификации взаимной торговли, инвестиций. Перспективные сферы сотрудничества – это энергетика, промышленность, аграрный сектор, наука, инновации, декларации и планы действий до 2026 года. So we continue to see Russia as a valued ally, as a valued friend, who supported us right from the beginning, from the days of our struggle against apartheid, right through to now. So we're really delighted to be here and to know that uh, uh, we are going to have important discussions here in Kazan within the BRICS family. So thank you very much for welcoming us.